Okay, we're here installing the MMR um, secondary tensioner bracket, part number 467893. We've had a lot of people ask questions about how to install it, so we're gonna walk you through it. Start out, it goes on the driver's side main cap. Simply remove the secondary tensioner by just pushing up on it. Comes up out of the tensioner, and go ahead and pull that out. The best thing to do prior to reinstalling into the main cap is to take a deburring knife and to go around the outside edge. All that does is that allows the new O-ring to slide back in when you flip it upside down because the tensioner wasn't intended to originally go that direction. Simply take some engine oil, smear it around the O-rings on both sides and slide it into place. It'll usually go in fairly easily. Push it right up. That's all the way in there. Now what you're going to do is actually install the secondary tensioner. It's fairly simple. Basically drop it over the larger hole first and then it'll usually take a small push to go back. Sometimes it'll take a small tap with a light mallet or hammer just to go back into place until the two holes line up. You can test that by simply installing the ARP bolts to verify that we're good. Now that you've done that, you're simply going to install the secondary tensioner guide itself. And it's real simple, it goes on just like factory. You line it up over the front and push back until it snaps. And uh, there you have it, ready to rock and roll. Now this assembly can be installed back onto the cylinder head just like originally. And then if you're gonna be installing an MMR guide, this bottom guide needs to be removed. In order to do that, you just remove it and you can take the MMR steel guide, billet steel guide, and just put it, push it right onto place and then go ahead and install it just like normal. That's it.